On the 2nd of February of this year, a nuclear strike from the United States wiped out Wollongong. The US has apologized, but the facts surrounding it are a little unclear. Today, we're fortunate to have Senator Simmons, Minister for Aborigines, the Arts and Other National Disasters. Thank you. David Emery, spokesman for the Reagan government on warmth and understanding. <laughs> And a man who runs, or did run, a pizza shop at the actual bomb site, online from Wollongong, Mr. Tony Ferrugio. <laughs> well, Senator Simmons, the Australian government must be deeply concerned. Very deeply concerned. Extremely concerned. Almost angry. And not with the US, mind you, uh, just with the senseless futility of it all. Let me say from the outset that what we're talking about here is a small nuclear accident. 50, maybe 60 megadeths tops. Most of the scaremongering around has been based totally on fact. Mm. You've as much chance of being killed on the roads as you have of being vaporized in a thermonuclear blast. Sure. What's the road toll down under? 50,000 a year? Uh, no, 700. In rough terms, it compares favorably. Mm. The major objection that I see it is that it's a very concentrated form of devastation, and that's a fair comment. Well, Mr. Ferruccio, is there any ill feeling in Wollongong towards the U.S.? Mannaggia, mi avete rovinato il business! Americani, siete cretini, cornuti, disgraziati, vigliacchi! Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> David, it was a grave mistake. Off the record on national television, could you tell us how it happened? It appears at this stage, Jane, to have been due to a typographical error in the secretary's pool. Mm. Two lunch orders of ham on rye were misread, red alert, attack, first strike. <laughs> and has there been any form of inquiry? This isn't the time for witch hunts. But the person involved was spoken to quite sharply. And the municipal response, Mr. Ferrugia. Siete deficienti! Pannulloni, pidocchiosi, Mario Milano mi spaccherà la testa, festa del Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Well, let's get back to Wollongong, and I refer to its existence loosely. David, there have been complaints. Yes, it's a chorus for some concern to my government, Jane. <clears throat> I think it's an historical hangover, the spectre of Hiroshima, etc. People have memories like elephants. <laughs> Mind you, we got a lot of very positive mail after Nagasaki. Mm. Sure, there's huge devastation and death. You get that with any major catastrophe. Absolutely. But I think it's dangerous, in fact, irresponsible for the opposition to start slinging mud on this one. If we're not very careful, we run the very real risk of harming the Alliance. No, no, that could never happen. We need you. And finally, to sum up, David. If I, if I could just read this letter, Jean. Dear US, I like that touch. <laughs> Re-Holocaust, 2nd of February. Many thanks to those concerned, the weeds are finally under control. <laughs> Your Cyril Perkins intensive care. I think that says it all. And finally, Mr. Ferrugia. Porca miseria, il presidente americano è uno cornuto, uno smerdacchione, un cagone, un puzzolente. I'll uh, pass. I'll uh, pass on those best wishes to the president. Uh, before you go, David, we've got. Uh, a small souvenir we'd like you to take back to the United States. A koala that was found at the bomb site. <laughs> Why, thank you, Senator, and thank you, Jane. I've enjoyed my stay immensely. And we'll be back in a moment.